How to navigate your cPanel dashboard, part one. You begin this exploration of the many features of cPanel by logging in to your TSO host account. Go to the welcome page, click on products, then click onto your cPanel package. Select login to cPanel, then click the cPanel admin button and you're on your dashboard. First off, let's look at user admin. Now there's two ways you can access this, either click on the people icon on the left sidebar or scroll down to preferences and choose user manager. On the user manager page you can see the users of your site and the icons tell you what privileges they have. Have they got access to emails or FTP file transfers or to your disk space? You can also add new users here. Click Add user, then create the new user profiles by filling in their name, username, which domains they can use, contact email and privileges. Next, contact information. Unsurprisingly, you click contact information under the preferences section. This is where you set up the email notifications you want to receive about your website. You can also set two email addresses specifically for these notifications so they won't clog up your regular inbox. Now, on to domain management. This is where you can add a new domain or create a subdomain. You can host multiple domains from the same cPanel dashboard, so your personal and business website, for example, or several business websites, can all be managed from this one place. To add a new domain to your cPanel is fairly straightforward, but you'll need to purchase your new domain first. Then go to the My Domains section of your client area. Select your new domain and click the spanner icon to go to the settings. Along the left hand navigation, click on Custom DNS Records and scroll down to Add a New Record. First, under Name, type an at symbol. Now, check the type is set to A. Then, under Content, you'll need to input the shared IP address for your cPanel hosting. This address can be found down the right-hand column of your cPanel under General Information. Then, click Add New Record. Now, do the same thing again, except this time, under Name, you type www. Once both of those records have been added, you can navigate to Add-on Domains, which is found in the Domain section of your cPanel. Under New Domain Name, type in your newly purchased domain, then click out of the text box, and everything else should be auto-filled. Finally, click Add Domain to finish adding your add-on domain. You should now be able to select either your new or your existing domain. Also, you can modify existing add-on domains here. You can create subdomains as well. To create a subdomain for an already attached domain, for example the one you may have got with your TSO host package, simply click Subdomains. A subdomain will let you separate parts of your website but keep them related to each other. For example, you may have yourdomain.co.uk for your main website and then create blog.yourdomain.co.uk which makes your blog memorable and easy for customers to find. There is so much more to tell you about cPanel, including one-click installs and uploading images, but we'll tell you all about that in the next video in this series. Feel free to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell logo so you'll be told when the next TSO host tutorial video drops. See you then.